a few random props at the prop shop, a rubber fire extinguisher, and it won't extinguish brain cells. Comanche knife sheath. This is the camera Paul Giamatti used in the movie Parkland when he played Abraham Zapruder, the guy that filmed the JFK assassination. This is a cancellation stamp for making prop mail. This is a jailophone. This is an Underwood typewriter and it's literally Underwood. More random props from my shop, part two. Tumbling tumbleweed. These are political buttons from the movie Born on the Fourth of July, starring Tom Cruise, directed by Oliver Stone. Stunt chain. It's just black plastic chain painted with like an antique silver uh, sprayed with a rust color. If you have a stunt man uh, driving through a gate that's locked, you use plastic chain, that way no one gets hurt from flying real chain. That's a chain reaction. This is an antique stenotype machine. This is what we'll use in an old courtroom scene in a period movie. This is one of the racing numbers worn in the movie The Ringer in 2003 with Johnny Knoxville. This is a cast iron coffee pot. Rubber. This is a cast iron coffee pot. Rubber. Random props at my shop, part three. This corkscrew is from Machete, 2009, directed by Robert Rodriguez. Danny Trejo used it to pull out a guy's eyeball. Got my daughter Phoebe here at the prop shop, and we're sorting out the fake dead fish. If you need something smaller, let me know. Let me know. Come on, it's a good joke. Well, I'm fishing for compliments. Oh. There's a rubber telephoto lens camera that we used in Friday Night Lights for when we had the press on the sidelines. I got lots of shelves full of really cool props, but this is the cooler shelf. Please stop. Random props from my shop, part four. This is a urinal cake from The Ringer, 2003. Okay, a fake urinal cake. I'm a potty mouth. A couple props. I mean, they're not really props. They, they could be used as props. This prop can prop up a prop. This is Buddy Garrity's license plate from Friday Night Lights, the series. This is an Old West stick of dynamite. It's just a wooden dowel that's wrapped in craft paper and it's dipped in wax. This is a rubber flathead. But if you really need to tighten something with it, you're screwed. Random props from my shop, part five. This is a Shure 55 microphone. It's also known as an Elvis mic. That's because it was made popular by Elvis Presley back in the 50s and 60s. These are getting harder and harder to find, so you don't want to do a mic drop with it or you'll get some negative feedback. This is a period flash camera. So if you have a gaggle of reporters, you just give them a bunch of these. I, I call them a flash mob. This is fake Iraqi money from the limited series Long Road Home for National Geographic in 2017. I, I like to call it faux dough. I call money dough because I need it. Random props from my shop, part six. This is an authentic candlestick telephone. These were used from 1893 to the late 1920s, and I used this as a prop in The Sun for AMC. This reminds me that I need to call my assistant back. He asked me why I never call him back, and I just said I, I don't recall. A Sabret hot dog umbrella. When we're filming a New York street scene, but we're not in New York, we need things that'll be an instant read as New York. So a hot dog stand with a Sabret's umbrella will definitely do the trick. You see this and it's abundantly clear that you're in New York City. Sabret's wieners are not good actors though. You gotta be an Oscar wiener. Frankly, I'd say I'm on a roll with these puns. This is one of the prop rubber worms from How to Eat Fried Worms and the crew kept trying to get me to eat a real one, but uh, I didn't take the bait. Random movie props from my shop, part seven. This is my prop postal box, and due to copyright reasons, it can't be an exact match to the U.S. mail, so it's close, but not to the letter. These are Native American par flesh cases. I initially had these made for The Sun for AMC. Uh, about two years ago, I rented them to the movie News of the World with Tom Hanks. They were used to store dried meat, pemmican, tools, that sort of thing. There's Tom Hanks, and those are my par flesh pouches. These are John F. Kennedy campaign signs used in the movie Parkland that was all about the JFK assassination. We gave them to extras in the scene at Love Field Airport when the Kennedys arrived and uh, always keep them back and to the left. Random props from my shop, part eight. The prop department's responsible for most of the photographs seen on camera. 
This is Pierce Brosnan and his family for the TV show, The Sun. These are prop mug shots from the original Walker, Texas Ranger, and that's Robert England, AKA Freddy Krueger. And I believe that's the guy that played Niedermeyer in Animal House. And these aren't real mug shots, they're prop photos. And these are prop photos. This is a call sheet from the remake of Friday the 13th in April of 2008. And these are some of my antique watches that we use on period films. Let's see what's in the casket today. Look at that. It's a deadpan expression. Just a little deadpan humor.